Here are seven amphibians that live comfortably in a 20 gallon enclosure. Let's get into it. Number one is the white tree frog. Now I used to own white tree frogs and I thought that they were some of the most amazing amphibians I've ever owned. I've owned a few different types of species, na mainly native species to Mexico, um, but white tree frogs are native to Australia and I absolutely fell in love with them. They're very personable, very, uh, very, a very social animal. You can definitely put two in a 20 gallon enclosure as long as you have a lot of space for them to climb and a lot of plants for them to hide. I don't see why not. You also want to provide them with a water dish big enough for them to kind of bask in. I had a little bowl for mine and then I also had a little stick on thing where you can put some water in but that didn't really help out too much. They actually really liked it though. They're also the easiest amphibian that I've ever had to care for. So if you're looking into a beginner species, then I believe white tree frogs are the way to go. They're also a very cheap species to get, even if you go into a chain pet store. You know, one of these ball pythons here that's worth probably $75 to $100. If I were to go to a chain pet store, I'd probably be looking at about, I don't know, $200 just to get one of these. A white tree frog is cheap enough where you can walk away spending about 20 to 40 bucks for one. Number two on the list is the green tree frog. Now everybody knows about green tree frogs. They're like probably the uh, spokesman of amphibians at this point. They grow anywhere from two to three inches and the females are always gonna be larger than the males. You can also give the species a variety of different foods, um, but usually crickets, some dubio roaches if the shell isn't hard enough, and some other things like hornworms, waxworms, things like that you can give them as well. Number three on the list is the tiger salamander. But they're a very popular, very hardy species. Not to mention they're very colorful, very beautiful looking amphibian. Their temperature gradients are anywhere from 58 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. But the ideal temperature for them is 60 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. They enjoy a variety of foods as well, from wax worms, silk worms, crickets, earthworms, and other things. And one will fit comfortably in a 20 gallon tank. Number four on the list is the axolotl. Now axolotls are pretty popular nowadays. I'm not sure if that's from an anime that they were like popularized from or some other source, but um, they're almost extinct in the wild, if not um, scientifically extinct already in the wild. Uh, they only come from one little lake in Mexico called Lake Xochimilco and of course because of human intervention um, they have almost pretty systematically just gone extinct. Now 20 gallons may not be enough for an axolotl depending on who you speak to but because 29 gallons take up the same amount of space that 20 gallons do I would say put one in a 29 gallon tank and I think that they'll be fine. Axolotls do require a chiller. Natural temperatures in the wild are 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so you will need a chiller for them. Um, if you live in a colder area, I guess it's not going to be as hard. But let's say you live in like Las Vegas or Arizona, you're definitely going to need a chiller for them. Number six on the list is dart frogs. Now with a 10 gallon, there's not a lot of choices you can use in terms of keeping dart frogs together. But if you have a 20 to 29 gallon tank, then dart frogs, pretty much any species you will be able to keep in a 29 gallon, especially because they are more of a co-having species. You can keep a group of them comfortably in a 20 gallon tank. Not to mention they're stunning animals. They're all kind of shapes, sizes, colors, varieties. You can also go with reed frogs and I kept them kind of on the same number on this list just because they're a nice alternative. Reed frogs are starting to grow in popularity. Uh, my favorite is the starry night reed frog and uh, they can also be kept in pairs which would work perfectly for your 20 gallon enclosure. Number seven on the list is the Pac-Man frog. Now, the reason why Pac-Man frogs, even though they get huge, can be fine in just a 20 gallon enclosure is because they do not move. I mean, they're literal rocks. Um, so it's very comfortable in a 20 gallon enclosure. They grow anywhere from three to six inches in, I'm gonna say circumference, not length. And uh, they live anywhere from 10 to 15 years. They're basically the garbage disposal uh, of the amphibian world and they are amazing to watch eat. I mean, that's probably the only thing that people get them for is just to watch them eat. If you plan on breeding these Futurama looking Pac-Man frogs, then 
you're in luck because they're basically froggy vending machines. So they can lay up to 2,000 eggs at a time. Comment down below, what was your favorite amphibian on this list? And if 20 gallons is a little too big for you, here's this video, seven amphibians that can live comfortably in a 10 gallon enclosure.